Hey, what's going on guys? Franco Tech here, bringing you a review of the LG Tribute from Virgin Mobile. Currently selling at $79.99 on Virgin Mobile's website, and even cheaper from other sources, is this phone right for you? Let's take a look. Starting off with the design, the LG Tribute looks a lot like the Google Nexus 5 in my opinion. They both have a very similar design and both have the same type of curves up on the edges. However, the LG Tribute has a 4.5 inch IPS display with a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels and a PPI of 207. And honestly, the resolution for the screen size isn't bad at all. It's nowhere near HD, but it's still it, it's still a nice screen. It's still nice to look at. It doesn't want to make you look away from it or anything like that. Um, close up text might be a little blurred. You might see some pixels in it, but other than that, I think the display is really nice. And with that said, let's go ahead and take a look around the phone. Up top we have our headset, our proximity sensors, and our 0.3 megapixel front facing camera that records 720p HD video. And we'll talk more about this later on in the review. Uh, also, the phone does not have a notification light, so if that's a big deal breaker for you, um, just let you know it doesn't have one. Moving over to the right side of the phone, we have only our power button, and over on the left we have our volume up and down rockers. And if you notice, the phone is in fact two different colors. It's black and white, black in the front, white in the back, including the power and volume rockers. And also the button placement on this phone is excellent. My fingers landed directly on the buttons when holding the phone, and the buttons themselves feel very sturdy, so you don't have to worry about this phone feeling cheap in any way because it actually feels really sturdy considering it's only $79. Up top we have a 3.5mm headset jack and our first microphone and down at the bottom we have our micro USB charger port and also the second microphone. On the back we have a 5 megapixel shooter with 1080p HD video recording and our LED flash. And down at the bottom we have our speaker grill which is actually pretty loud but can easily be covered by one finger so you're going to want to make sure you hold the phone right so that way you don't have your audio muffled. Finally, popping open the back panel gives us access to our very low 2100 milliamp hour battery and our SD card port which is expandable up to only 32 gigabytes. No, this phone does not have NFC support. On the topic of the battery, however, it's a low 2100 milliamp hour battery but surprisingly it can actually last a very long time. I wake up at around 9am and use the phone constantly throughout the day whether it's taking pictures, using random apps, watching YouTube videos, searching the web, or even playing mobile games and the phone does last me until about the time I go to bed. And the reason the phone lasts a very long time is mainly due to that very low resolution and the very low end specs, even though I'm using the phone at 100% brightness throughout the whole day. So in case you were worrying about the battery life on this phone, don't worry, it has a good battery life. Moving over to hardware side of things, the LG Tribute is running on a quad-core Snapdragon 400 clocked at 1200 MHz, it has one gigabyte of RAM, and an Adreno 305 GPU. The phone comes with a low 4 GB of internal storage and only 1.45 GB are actually available for use so you're going to want to pick up a new SD card with this phone or else you're going to receive this message constantly. Because this phone has lower specs you might be worrying about the speed and I'm going to tell you right now that the phone runs completely smooth. There have been no lag or hiccups that I've experienced and it's just it's a great experience for a very low end phone. On the software side of things, the LG Tribute is running on Android 4.4.2 KitKat with LG's GUI theme on top. And usually I'm not a fan when it comes to themes, but I think LG's new UI is beautiful and simplistic and it's not something I'm going to be changing anytime soon. However, there are some parts of the UI that can be changed like the notification tab icons and also the app folders. You can change them between 12 different colors, which I think it's pretty cool that they give you that customization. Now without a doubt, my favorite part of the new UI is LG's new keyboard. Usually, just like with themes, I'll go and download a new keyboard, but this is the first time I haven't installed one on the phone. It's a very nice looking, fast, and responsive keyboard that has some customizable options to it. You can edit the height of the keyboard to however you want, and you can also edit some of the buttons down at the bottom. It does have a swipe-like feature, but LG is calling it Path Input, and yes, for those of you asking, this phone does have emojis. Something else that's new and different is LG's new recent apps tab. It's something different for most of us, but it's also not very different in a way because it still has the same functionality it's just a different appearance and I gotta say I think it looks pretty nice I don't know about how other people feel towards it because the icons are pretty large but I think it looks nice the LG Tribute also has LG's knock code which is another way you can unlock the phone by tapping a pattern on its dormant screen it's a pretty creative way to unlock your phone but it's not something I would use okay so now we're gonna take a look at the camera and let me start off by saying this is a very cheap low-end device and to keep the cost down, LG had to lower some specs like the resolution, the memory, and the camera. So if you're looking for a low-end phone with a decent camera, then this phone isn't for you. 
It's a 5 megapixel shooter that if you're lucky, you'll be able to get a decent picture out of after several attempts. The autofocus is bad and slow, the pictures come out dark and blurred, macro shots are almost impossible, and this goes not only for the rear facing camera, but also the 0.3 megapixel front facing camera as well. As for video recording, videos come out decent at best. Taking a look at the camera's UI, it's very simplistic. Up at the top right, you have your settings button, which enables all of the features of the camera. Sadly, this phone's only actual feature is panorama mode, and that's it. There are no color modes, no lighting modes, or any image adjustments at all included in this UI. So yeah, again, if you want a phone with a good camera, this isn't it at all. So in the end, is the LG Tribute the right phone for you? I have to say yes. It's a very nice and low budget phone, and if you don't mind the camera, then the LG Tribute is the phone for you. The only parts the phone lacks in is the camera and the resolution, but everything else on the phone works really well, and it's well worth the $79. So there you go guys, that's my review on the LG Tribute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped and answered some of your questions. If it didn't answer all your questions, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll make sure to try to answer as much as possible. Other than that, be sure to share this with your friends and family and subscribe for more future content. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.